This is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tawatin Suyu, the Incan Empire from David Serchi and Borden Dice. Let's go ahead and look at how to best organize this in order to get this complicated game played as quickly as possible. So first off, we open up the top of the box. And inside we'll see the bag, and this bag comes with the game, so you don't worry about this, but it's going to hold all of your meeples. You've got this nice three compartment organizer from the Dollar Tree. It's only one buck, but I think it works great. It fits everything really nicely. So on this left side, you've got all of the tapestry, the uh, weavings. So those are pretty great. You can separate them by player count there. On this side here, you've got all of the special abilities here, or sorry, the uh, production buildings. And then you can also further separate the weavings. So these are for higher player counts. So you can kind of pick and choose where you want to separate those. On this side, you've got the festival marker. I believe that's what that's called. That's kind of the signifies that the round's over. And then you've got the special ability buildings. So you can shuffle those up and put them back in here, or you can just leave them in here and play with them right out of the container. So super nice there. You can see these small Dollar Tree containers here. These are going to be for the different resources. I really like these. You can get 10 for a dollar and they simply just go under like that and you can put them right on the table they're ready to go so we've got the potatoes in one of them you've got the corn another and then you've got the gold and the rocks so the stone now in this bag you're going to have these statues that you're going to be want to have displayed every game and you're just gonna put them in a plastic bag because these are something you're just gonna kind of pour out on the board and everybody's gonna look at. So it also has the multipliers and you can toss one of those. You might not need these, but they're nice to have. So this is kind of something you just fan out at the top of the board. In this tiny bag, you've got all the solo components. So you're probably not gonna need it, but if you do, you can pull it up if you're gonna play solo. So actually that's not true. This game is pretty good solo. So I think this is a, this is a great thing to have. So the solo mode in this game is absolutely wonderful, and it's my preferred way to play this game, actually. I kind of have trouble recommending this as more than two players. It's got a lot of choices and a lot of analysis paralysis. Over here, we've got these the player components. So everybody has their own silica gel packet. It looks nice. So everybody is organized, just toss it to a player, they're ready to go. And then lastly, you've got all the player cards. They fit just nicely in a little bag here. You can put the two different types. You got the warriors and the power cards. So those are ready to go. And then the board fits nicely flat. Same thing with the action rondelle in the middle. And underneath you'll see all the rule books, the player aids. And on the back of the player aids are these solo boards. So there's one on each of them, so you don't have to go picking and guessing which one has it, <laughs> which is kind of nice. And that's that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pack it up. So first thing, you're gonna put the instructions and the solo boards back on the bottom. You're gonna put the board in next. You'll put in the action rondelle, the player, that three-way organizer, the different resource trays, the action cards, the statues, the player components, the worker bag, silica gel packet, keep everything nice and flat, and that is organizing Tawa Tinsuyu. Gotta have that nice box card, you know? And that'll get you a nice game, no lid lift, things are good. Thanks so much for watching. I hope some of you found this useful. If you have any questions about the organization methods I did here, uh, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope some of you found this useful. Side game strong.